but moving swiftly on, sticking strictly to Dominic's wonderful words. Uh, it's, I'd like to welcome you all to the sixth on the nail reading organized by the Limerick Writer Centre. Tonight we have a packed program. We start with the launch of the latest edition of our poetry journal, Revival. One of our guest readers, Terry McDonough, will officially launch it, and a short reading by poets who have a poem in the book will follow this. I would encourage everyone to buy a copy, as it is a struggle to produce it every six, three months. So even if you get a complimentary, even if you got a complimentary copy, please buy another one. As I say, every little helps. Okay, folks, Mr. Terry McDonough. I didn't realize I was going first to that, Dominic, but here I am. Yeah. Um, now, I have a speech prepared, but I don't have to prepare it because uh, this is a really, really important occasion, I think. Um, when, when one produces a magazine like Revival, it's a literary journal, it's a fantastic outlet for writers, for aspiring writers in any community. And I've come across so many of these in so many different places, and each and every one of us who write today owe an awful lot to magazines like Revival. They are really, really an essential part uh, for the writers, but also for the community and for spreading an awareness of what it is to write, whatever it be, it poetry or prose or whatever it might be. And so um, I'm not going to go on right like that, but I would encourage everybody to buy at least one copy of Revival and have one then for the grandchildren and this and that and for the children and make sure that, uh, that the thing gets spread around town as it should be. Uh, congratulations are due to everybody who has been involved in this. Um, and so uh, with, on those, with those words, I just declare the thing to be the book Revival to be launched. Thank you very much. Thanks,